Let's take a look at some charts on ZRX from this week's article on Brave New Coin. So put simply, ZRX is a protocol that allows for the creation of relayers, which are decentralized exchanges, and or APIs to connect to relayers to increase the DEX ecosystem. It's very easy to connect your MetaMask or other hardware wallet to the various relayers and start trading. Question that I continually ask about ZRX is does it need a token? Is the token worth anything? Should it be worth anything? They've sort of added staking as an afterthought to give people a reason to hold on to it, in my opinion. We'll look at some technicals at the end, but the protocol works great. I can say that. Do they need a token? Is the perpetual question for many projects. The relayers are great. The mesh is great. The UI is really great for matcha. Really simple. Sleek. Great design. Tells you exactly what you need to know. Really couldn't ask for a better setup. Sort of a 2.0 trading style compared to what we have now for Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, all the usual, the usual centralized exchange sub suspects. If we lump CRX into the staking stuff, it's at the bottom of the conversation for the most part. It's really not a staking coin anyway, but it has staking capabilities where you get paid out in ETH, which is attractive if ETH is appreciating, obviously. But it's really not a staking coin. And if we look at where that sits among the other coins with staking, it's uh, kind of at the bottom of the pile there, as well as far as notional value being staked. It's probably never going to come close to EOS or ADA or DOT or any of the other big ones. It's a pretty niche situation for ZRX. It doesn't require staking for consensus. Trading volume has never been higher in October. They broke, they uh, hit 1.4 billion. And these aren't fake trades either. These are real trades that cost real money to make as far as transaction fees. And those transaction fees aren't cheap. So the the telling sign will be, will this volume sustain itself? I don't think it's going to continue to break billions of dollars, but if it holds in the multi-millions, that would be incredible for the DEX ecosystem, for the DEX story. Trades are holding around 80k plus. So this all says there's definitely a use case for DEXs, even with all the centralized exchanges that exist. If we look at the token, transaction count is basically near all-time lows. Transaction size is way down. It's hard to get bullish on the token just looking at this on-chain stuff. it's it, You can't get bullish. I mean, there's no... Not a lot of people are using it on a day-to-day -day basis kind of because there is no really need to use it. If we look at active addresses and NVT, active addresses also way down. NVT is saying that the market cap hasn't adequately priced in on-chain activity because NVT is also declining. But it's hard to take that seriously, in my opinion. It just doesn't... Uh, when you look at the on-chain activity, you, just, you don't need... To hold it, you don't need to use it. You don't need to transact in it. So it's hard to be bullish on token price. Because when you have to question its existence, it's difficult for price to go up, in my opinion. You're also getting a death cross here with the 50 and the 200. This green and red line. Yearly pivots, VPVR, RSI, volume. It's got massive volume support here because it had all this consolidation throughout 2019, early 2020. 
So I don't think it's going to hit all-time lows anytime soon, but it's definitely not as bullish as it was in early 2020. And this may just correlate with DeFi in general. DeFi cooling off, ZRX token price cooling off, but I don't expect it to break 25 cents really anytime soon. 20 cents, tons of support, all the way down to even 15 cents. But trend-wise, it definitely looks neutral to bearish for sure. To get this to be bullish again, I'd want the EMAs to recross uh, to the upside, some sort of chart pattern, something going on here. Probably won't happen in Q4. I'd expect Q1, it might look a little better. They are hinting signs of multi-chain capacity capability which may be enough to turn the needle bullish here. They're in the early stages of that though, so I don't expect that anytime soon. And when I say multi-chain, I mean the DEXs themselves, not necessarily the token. Looking at the cloud, it's also very bearish. Below the cloud, you know, this is all gonna have to burn off resistance-wise. In order for the bull trend to resume, I don't really see this breaking 60 cents anytime soon. Definitely not a buy sitting where it's sitting. Then if you look at Xerox BTC, much like most BTC pairs, it's actually getting ready for an all-time low push. You had a nice move during alt season in mid-year, and now 50, 200 EMAs are bearish once again. It's it's off 50% in the past 50 days. It's below the VPVR support. There's no yearly pivots here until negative prices, essentially. So this does look like it's going to retest 15, 20, uh, 2K, 1500 sets, something like that. Definitely wants some sort of extended consolidation period like there was in 2019 2020 you had this adam and eve really nice and then it kind of just didn't go anywhere certainly moved to the upside but got smacked down at around 6k so it's just it's hard to be bullish on the token i think the protocol is great it's working really well it's able to price tokens extremely well relative to other DEXs and other protocols out there. It's just hard for the token to be useful. I don't know. The, the token doesn't really have a use case. The protocol does, but the token really doesn't. 